I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants to give you peace today. You see, peace is not something, it's someone. Peace is Jesus Christ. And many people mess up. They go out into the world trying to get peace. You can't get peace from the world. They say, maybe if I get a little more of this, maybe if I get more money, I get peace. Maybe if I get this, maybe I get that. Only to go out there and get it and realize something. Man, I still feel empty. Because there is a void right here that only God can feel. There's only peace that God can feel. And the enemy, he trying to rob you of your peace because that's your most valuable possession. If the enemy can rob you of your peace, then he's got your goods. The Bible says the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He come to steal your peace. He come to kill your hope. He come to try to destroy your focus. When a thief breaks into somebody's home, it's not after the ink pens or the pencils, you know, or the or sandwich or ravioli or Cheerios. It's not. It don't want that little stuff. A thief is after the most valuable possessions. It's looking for that diamond watch. It's looking for the diamond ring. It's looking for that uh, uh, that chain. It's looking for the most valuable things of the house. And then it's gone. And in that same way, the enemy's after your most valuable thing, which is your peace. So you got to learn to hold on to your peace like this little reindeer dude. Whatever this thing is my daughter be playing with. This little dude got Velcro, man. He holding on to this peace. You got to be relentless about your peace. Somebody call your phone with negativity? <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, cool, all right. Thank you, I'll talk to you later. And you say, I, 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 I ain't letting that get into my spirit. No, I'm guarding my peace. I'm protecting my peace because I know how valuable it is. You're going to go through the four P's in life, the people, the problems, the pain, the pressure, all this stuff trying to rob you of your peace. But boy, you better hold on. Understand that God has already given you peace by way of his word, but it's up to you if you want to accept it and hold on to it. Many people, they accept in all the wrong things. When a UPS driver or a postal service person knocks at your door with a package, you ain't got to sign for it. You ain't got Did you know that you don't have to accept it? When the enemy tries to bring those thoughts to your mind, you don't have to accept it. You say, I don't accept that. The enemy just wants you to ponder on those thoughts just enough to get you down. Right. <laughs> Many people, they may not accept the, the package at the door, but they'll sit there and look at it and consider it. No, 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 no. Nah, don't accept it. See me when a box comes to my door, I look at it. I say, oh, hey, man, you got the wrong address. I appreciate you for stopping by, though. I think that's about 10 miles that way on the other side of town. In other words, get that away from here because it's only peace that's coming through here because I understand I got my peace and I'm guarding my peace. It's only the word of God I'm allowing in my mind. You ain't taking my smile away today. I'm in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7. You with me? It says, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So listen to me. Ooh. The peace of God is going to guard your mind. Listen to me. <laughs> hey, boy, this peace so powerful. And then you go out there into a hurting world. And you're able to tell people about this peace that you have. But you got to be sure you don't let negativity and other stuff rub off on you. Because sometimes you're going to face some things in life. It's going to get a little bumpy. And, and you're going to feel like you're falling off. You're going to feel like you ain't able to hold on. But... That's when you get back into the word of God. That's why you need to keep a Bible in your vehicle. Keep the Bible app on your phone. Keep your small Bible in your pocket, in your purse, wherever, whatever you got. And if you don't want to do that, write you some scriptures down on the note card and put it in your pocket. Because when you feel yourself slipping and you, you feel your peace slipping, ooh. You get back into the word and, and you say a peace of God is, is guarding my mind and heart in Christ. The old, the, then you hold back on to your peace. We all slip sometimes. We all start believing the, 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 the lies of the enemy sometimes, but not no more. Not today. <laughs> today it's going to be all peace in my mind because I'm standing on this scripture. 
Just like if you got a $100 million mansion and you go out of town for the weekend and you hire some security and, and you call them up and you say, hey, I would like to uh, book y'all for three days. And they're going to say, OK, cool. What you want us to do? You tell them, I just want you to stand and guard and keep standing around the gate. Make sure nobody don't try to get in here. And they say, OK. And they get out there and they post up, you know, the security dudes, they, they big, you know, they like this. But understand the day the word of God said the peace of God was transcends all understand. Well, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The same way them security dudes guarding that big mansion. That's how God has his angels guarding your peace today. And see when you sit when, when 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 you see them them big security dudes out there guarding your your, your mansion, you smile from your rooftop. Smile from your roof. When God's guarding you with that peace today from the enemy, smile about it. <laughs> In other words, if you're happy, notify your face. Many people walk around talking about I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Well, did your face get the memo? <laughs> see, a smile doesn't just jump on your face. You got to put it on. You got to get in front of the mirror. And, uh, uh. And some days I wake up, man, I'm not feeling it, but I got to put that smile on. And say, like, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Not that not I'm going to think about rejoicing. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. And I'm going to choose peace today. And I'm holding on to my peace today. And if you call my phone with negativity, I ain't going to answer it, player. Because I'm guarding my mind today. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video. I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words, I choose peace today. Because that's right. You're going to choose peace today because peace is yours. I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video.